excellent Musa Walaza is a South African professional footballer who played primarily as a striker or as a right wing and he hails from Mamilodi in Soweto. Hello and welcome to Red Live. Excellent Walaza who was born on the 8th of April 1987 joined the Orlando Pirates youth at around 2005 at the age of about 18 years old. He would eventually progress from the youth side joining the senior team. He established himself as a full first team player in the 2007 and 8 season and during that season he managed to score 8 goals. With regards to senior appearances for Orlando Pirates he is credited to have had 42 appearances and during those appearances scored 13 goals. Being a KZ Chiefs fan myself, I'm a big fan of the derby and I do know that two of those goals came in the derby in the 2007 and 8 season. During that derby when Pirates made Chiefs, the scoreline ended up as 2-2. Also at the time, Senzo Meiwa was also in goals for Orlando Pirates. Itume Lenkune was our number one goalkeeper. However, Meiwa has conceded the fastest goal in a derby to date when Maputi Kanyeza scored in less than 20 seconds into the game. Excellent Walaza, who was considered a fading star at the time, I don't know why, Still stepped up to the plate and scored two goals to put Orlando Pirates in the lead. However, Atazwane scored a goal would put the scores level and that is how the derby ended. And then in 2009, excellent Walaza was loaned out to Super Sports United where he made about five appearances and scored one goal. During the 2009-2010 season, he returned to Pirates but was loaned out again to Bloemfontein Celtics where he made 23 appearances and scored three goals. After his loan spell at Bloemfontein Celtics, he was loaned out yet again to Vasco da Gama during the 2010-2011 season. During his loan spell at Vasco da Gama, he is not credited with any appearances or any goals. And at the end of the 2010-11 season, he was without a team. International career? Excellent Walaza represented South Africa Bafana Bafana on two occasions from 2008. So what happened to excellent Musa Walaza? To answer that question, I'm going to go back to a couple of articles that I read at the time because I'm not an Orlando Pirates fan so I didn't really watch or know a lot about him at the time. But from the reports and the articles around that time when he started getting loaned out, it seemed that Orlando Pirates fans felt that he was a dimming star. Some even felt that he wasn't good enough to wear the black and white jersey. There were also some in the camp that felt that he was a bit too young. Because do keep in mind that around 2008 and 9 when he started getting loaned out, he was about 20, 21 years old. And there were a couple of people who felt that he was not the type of striker that should be playing for Orlando Pirates. And thus they felt that he should be at a smaller team, get some game time and develop into a more finished product that would be more clinical in front of goal. Which is understandable considering that at the time he was like 20 years old. And it does seem that the hierarchy at Orlando Pirates felt the same, thus began his loan spells. But before I talk about his loan spells, one thing I will say is that I don't really get what they are saying that he was too young because in the 2007-2008 season, he scored 8 goals for the team and I do believe that at the time he was the highest goal scorer for Orlando Pirates. And during that season, the Golden Boot or the Leslie Magnatella Golden Boot winner scored 14 goals. So in essence, he was like 6 goals behind getting the Golden Boot. Now obviously, the goals per season scored by the Golden Boot winners started to decrease. When you consider that in the 2013-14 season, Bernard Parker got the Golden Boot with 10 goals goals. Last season Percy Dow got the golden boot with 11 goals. Now obviously I do have the benefit of hindsight but back then in 2008 they probably couldn't have predicted that someone would win the golden boot with just 10 goals. 8 goals nowadays is pretty decent for a striker and for a striker who's just 20 years old he definitely had some room to develop. So going back to his loan moves he was loaned out to Super Sports United which is a big team he didn't get a lot of playing time he only made 5 appearances and scored 1 goal. He's loaned to Bloemfontein Celtics was a little bit better with regards to appearances however the goals didn't come. And I will just venture into speculation territories after seeing that his loan moves didn't really yield that many goals and so much experience that they were hoping he'd get. In 2011 he was eventually released from Orlando Pirates and was without a team. Fast forward to 2016, excellent Walaza resurfaced again training with Morocco Swallows. During that time he was about 28 years old and the reports are that he was trying to revive his career. He was training with Morocco Swallows trying to get his fitness levels up so he could make his transition back into playing professional football. Considering that he left Orlando Pirates in 2011, so this is about 5 years later, which such a long time of football, I'm assuming that his fitness levels were no longer what they used to be. In the end, there are no indications or reports 
reports that Morocco Swallows eventually signed him and as of making this video the reports are that he's still looking for a club and he hasn't retired as a professional footballer yet. And as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.